Hello. Welcome to the video. In this section, we're looking at uh, 1.2, where we're measuring and constructing segments. Our essential question is how can you measure and construct a line segment? So, I don't know if this will be review for for you guys or not. I'm not sure how uh, how often you measure uh, items for you know if you're doing it for like a construction project or you're measuring to make sure that you know so, uh, you know like furniture fits in a certain sp space. But what we're gonna look at. Uh, more specifically is trying to be as accurate or at least as accurate as the directions uh, give us so you know there's there's two different ways that you can measure it you can either measure it in inches or you can measure it in metrics which in this case we're gonna look at centimeters so the first one we're gonna look at is inches and if you had a tape measure let's see here let me go from zero to one all right some zero to one inch there is some space in between zero and one that we have to take into account so you know, halfway between zero and one is the one half inch mark things that are halfway between that here, this is one fourth. This right here is three fourths. If you go halfway between all of those here, this is going to be one eighth. This is going to be three eighths. This in is five eighths. And this measurement is seven eighths sometimes they ask you to go up to sixteenths of an inch so if we make little marks here 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 and here this is one sixteenth this is three sixteenths five sixteenths seven sixteenths nine sixteenths eleven sixteenths 13 sixteenths and finally 15 sixteenths. So if you look here, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there's 16 possible values you can get up to, you know, the integer of one inch or whatever it happens to be. So let's say, for instance, you're measuring something and it's between three and four inches and it ends up being you know right here you know they want us to measure to within like a sixteenth of an inch so that spot would be three and nine sixteenths inches you need to be you know keep in mind that when you are writing things in inches it should be as a fraction not a decimal a fraction not a decimal a fraction not a decimal when it comes to centimeters this one is with a decimal so between 0 and 1 there are just 10 spaces so we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then 10 so this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0.8, and 0.9. So if it landed, you know, right here, this would be 0 0.6 centimeters. So this one would be represented as a decimal, and and it's going to be as the decimal width to the to the tenth spot. 
So please keep that in mind when you are asked to measure uh, those things. And be, care be mindful if they ask you in inches or if they're going to ask you in centimeters. We have what they call is the ruler postulate. Ruler postulate simply states that the points of a line can be matched one to one with real numbers. The real number that corresponds to a point is the co uh, coordinate of the point. And the distance between A and B can be written as AB. It is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of A and B. So what they're saying is if, if this, if X1 was 10 and X2 was, let's say, 4, and they're saying that this is the formula, which would be X2 minus X1, so this would be like 4 minus 10. 4 minus 10 is negative 6, but because you get the absolute value, it's positive 6. So remember, distance is a positive number. So in this, uh, in this exercise, you're going to need a ruler that has both uh, centimeters and inches. So in this particular one, they're asking for centimeters. They want to find the measure of st um, to the nearest tenth of a centimeter. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at it. And I'm, I'm going to say, OK, if you look here, it's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So they have 16 spaces. That means that the bottom measurement is in inches. And I have the top 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So those are the centimeters. So we're looking at the top numbers. So what you're going to do is you're going to place one endpoint at 0. And I understand that you know not everything is uh, that yours is going to be different than mine just because of the scaling of the drawing. And it appears in this drawing, the way this was represented, that this would be 3.5 centimeters. Looking at uh, this example, it says use a ruler to measure the length of a segment to the nearest eighth inch. So now this now we're using the inches. So then in this case, we're going to use the top one here. Apparently, you can just flip it. Yep, with that. So so looking at line segment M N, it appears that it's going to be one, and it's right here. So it looks like it's going to be 1 and 5 eighths. 1 and 5 eighths inches. Looking at 2 PQ, it looks like it's going to be 1. Try to get in the middle the best you can. So it looks like it's going to be 1 and 3 eighths inches. Some people may have to count after, so they're like one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six sixteenths. Six uh, sixteenths gets reduced to three eighths. Uh, UV looks like it's at seven eighths of an inch. This little, this two dashes right here represent an inch. And then finally. Looks like it's one and a quarter inches. Yeah, so like this represents inches. And if you just have one mark, that represents a foot. So being able to 
identify congruent segments. Congruent segments uh, basically means that you have two line segments that have the exact uh, same measure, or they are established that uh, they are congruent by having the same symbol uh, or hash mark. So like these are hash marks here. And even though they don't establish that they have a, a numerical value, that is telling you whatever that numerical value is, line segment AB is the same as line segment CD. So to be honest, when they talk about, let's say like they say lengths are equal or segments are congruent, usually when they say things are equal, they have an established uh, value. Or when they say that segments are congruent, it's usually in this situation where they don't have a value attached to it, but they have the hash marks. So what they want us to do here is they want us to plot these points. Then they want to know if J line segment JK and line segment LM are congruent. So well, we got to plot the point. So J is at negative three comma four, one, two, three, four. So there's J, K is at two, four, two, four, that's K. And then L is at one, three. And M is at one, negative two. So we got LM and JK. So in this scenario, you can use that ruler postulate to help you draw it, or simply you can just, because they're on, on the same, you can just count it. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five, and it's five. So yeah, five equals five, which means that J, K is congruent to L, M. Here we have is a segment addition postulate. Segment addition postulate basically means this, is if you have a point that is collinear, you know, that's in between um, two endpoints, you can say, of well, whatever AC is, AC is just going to be equal to AB plus BC. So with that being said, we have some examples here. They want you to find the measurement of DF. DF is here and here. So basically DF is going to be equal to 23 plus 35, 23 plus 35 is 58. So we have 58 units is our answer. Over here, they want you to find GH. GH is there. We don't know what it is, so you can actually denote it as a value of X. So you can implement it and say, okay, you could say that 21 plus X is equal to 36 and then subtract 21 to both sides. So 36 minus 21 is equal to 15. Final example here, it says, uh, the city shown on the map lie approximately in a straight line. Find the distance from Tulsa, Oklahoma to St. Louis, Missouri. So Tulsa is here. St. Louis is there. 
We don't know what that is, so they're going to call that X. Same thing, but um, is it Lovelock and St. Louis are 738 eight miles away? So to figure this out, you can say that it's 377 plus X is going to be equal to 738. So 738 subtracted by 337 is x is going to equal 361 miles and that is being able to measure struck segments hope this helps until next time